Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of the Blue Bridge and today I'll be talking about Conor Gallagher and what's going on in the battle between Gallagher versus Chelsea FC. <laughs> So there's a little war going on, a little battle going on um, between Chelsea and Conor Gallagher. First of all, Conor Gallagher and Chelsea have agreed a deal, sorry, with Atletico Madrid for Conor Gallagher in the region of 34, 35 million pounds. Chelsea see that as good business, pure profit, and they see it as um, a good deal because um, the Moresco, the way that Moresco plays um, he doesn't suit into um, his, he doesn't fit into his plans, and so that's what makes him surplus to requirements. So there's a lot of reports coming out in the last couple of days. Lots of bits of PR spin on on this story as well. Is that Chelsea had offered him a two plus one deal that he turned down. Um, Chelsea earlier turned down a bid from Aston Villa for him, but now they're prepared to sell him for a bit lower to a team who are abroad. So. As, as I said before, the deal was agreed with Atletico Madrid, but uh, Conor Gallagher's was it was up to him to make a decision on whether he wanted to join Atletico Madrid. He's asked for some time to think about it, but um, understandably, Atletico Madrid need to know now because if not, they can move on to other targets. So they've given him until the weekend to sort it out. And if things are not sorted out by the weekend, then they'll move on to other targets. Um, He'll get plenty of opportunities if he went to Atletico Madrid because they've got an aging midfield. Um, at 24 or 25 years old, Conor Gallagher is, you know, he's got plenty of years and he fits Diego Simeone's style of football to a glove. You know, they like to have industrious, hard-working midfielders in there. Um, Simeone, in Simeone's own model, because he was that type of midfielder um, in, his, in his prime. So, and he better to work with than, than someone like Simeone. Um, but does he want to go to a different country? Does he want to stay in, in, in the UK? Does he not want to go to Spain? Sometimes for family reasons, you may not want to move. So, But he loves Chelsea. He wants to stay. But the thing is now, Chelsea, so that's you know, sort of a bit of a stalemate at the moment. So Chelsea have said, look, we've agreed a deal, mate. We want you to, to go. We don't fit into our plans. But he said, you know what? I want to stay. This is my boy at club. So now Chelsea have made the next move if um, reports are to be believed. And what they're saying is that um, Chelsea have said, OK, if you stay, then you will be, you won't be training with the first team squad and you'll be banished to the reserves and the you know, development side. And so is that a bit petty by Chelsea in response or is it a way of trying to force Conor Gallagher out of the club? So this has divided the fan base as usual. You've got on one side the, the, um, the, the guys who want him out of the club who don't think he's technical enough. And on the other side, you, you've got the guys who, who want him to stay at um, the club yeah, so I think we're in a situation of who blinks first, really, because it would be Conor Gallagher. Would he decide, you know what, I'm not training with the reserves, I want to move, or is it going to be um, Chelsea? But what could Chelsea do if he's not going to sign a new contract? So he can run down his contract and Chelsea end up getting nothing for him at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one in all, all for all, all accounts. So... Uh, some people I think saying that the club have, have done him bad, but there's two ways to look at this. Yeah, I think you know, you, someone who's, who's giving you a lot of uh, service and who's never, who's always given 100% when he plays, then yeah, it could be treated in, a little bit different. But if he doesn't fit into the manager's plans, then what is the point of keeping him if you can get some profit from him? Because if you look at sometimes some difficult decisions have been made in the past. So you look at Man City, the ruthlessness in which they got rid of some of their players. Joe Hart, for instance, you know, he just won a league with them, but he didn't fit into the way that Pep Guardiola wanted to play with goalkeepers. So he was out the door. Yaya Torre was another one. Um, he, he, he wanted a different profile of midfielder. And so Yaya Torre was, was moved on and uh, um, Fernandinho and others were, were brought in. So you're always going to get that sometimes where 
one of your favourites are going to be moving out if the four, now if we stick with Pochettino, then he he's ideal for the Pochettino style of play. But for the way that um, Maresco wants to play, not so ideal. And my take on Gallagher, I do like him as a player. I think he's very industrious, hard working. He puts it, he puts in the effort all the time. Very good presser. And for that side of things, I think he fits into Maresco's um, from off the ball because he's really good at that, that press. But um, when in possession, that's where I think there is a problem. A lot of people, and I, I don't think, uh, with me, I, I've, I've said it before with him, is this body shape when he receives the ball. I don't think he plays on the half turn. He's not ready. So a lot of times when he receives the ball, he's not in a position to make that forward pass or um, open up the pitch a bit because he's he, he takes the touch and before you know it, then there's a, a player on him. So, and then he has to pass it backwards or sideways. And um, he, so, I don't know, some may not um, may disagree with me, but I've watched him closely a lot this season. And that's my observation from what I see with him. You know, his, his, his vision is, is not quite there. Now, it's now and again, he's, he had a good assist ratio the last season which you know may contradict my argument but I still think that you know he's not a visionary um, passer of the ball um, in, in most circumstances so um, that's it so I, it's, it's not it's going to be messy whatever however it ends if it's um, with him holding out is it going to do the club any favors as well I'm not saying he should go anywhere you know but I'm just saying that if you truly love the club, you know, you're know you not going to run down your contract and not let the club uh, get anything from it. Even Victor Oshman, if you look at Oshman's situation, I know that he got a pay rise for what he did, but he's allowing um, Napoli to get money for him. And there's other people have done it in the past. We saw that with, with Matson, where he signed a two plus one. Chelsea were able to maximise the amount of money that they got for him. Um, so, and... If he's not going to get any games or he's going to be low down the pecking order, then I think that it is going to be within his interest to look for another team. And if you look at it as well, um, last season, if you look at last season, I just think that um, he, the reason he was the beneficiary of a lot of games is because um, we had a lot of players out injured. Remember Lavia? would have played more games had it not been for injuries and and you know he had others out injured so that's why he cemented his, his, his place in the side um can he force his way into the team if we get injuries yeah the, the, the good thing about um Conor gallagher as well is that he's endure his endurance he never gets injured he's never out long-term injuries uh, injured so if you look at some of our other midfielders who've been out for a period of time then he will be a good valuable squad player to have in the team but yeah i don't know what to think about this story actually I'm, I'm sort of on the fence on this one so what do you guys think stick your comments in the section below do you think that the club are making a mistake in trying to get rid of him or do you think that he's his profile doesn't fit the way that we want to play do you think that conor gallagher is doing the right thing in trying to hold out and run down this contract or do you think that he should um, try and find a new club or agree a deal with Atletico. What are your comments? Stick them in the comment section below. Don't forget, as always, guys, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, let me notified when I make a new video. So take care.